So right now the gravity is linear. We may want to give it a curve so that the closer it gets to the center point, the faster it's actually going to animate that translation towards the center. So if we go to gravity area to D, uh, let's say effect curve of type curve. Then in the inspector, let's edit this effect curve, new curve. So let's say that the distance is like 100 here for the max domain. Uh, the closer it is, the closer we want to get to 1.0. So let's take the first point and move it up here to 1.0. I will just pull a second point down like this. Okay. So if it gets to 100 distance, it's going to be very weak at that point. So then with that curve, we want to go back in here and adjust the move by uh, sampling this curve. So let's get the curve modifier, and that's going to be equal to effect curve dot sample. And we need to sample with the distance from our target to the gravity center. So var distance is going to be target dot global position dot uh, distance to the global position. Okay, so we just pass that distance into the curve modifier sampling, and then we take the curve modifier and multiply that by the delta. So this will be some value between uh, 0.0 and 1, and that should affect the gravity based on this curve. The closer it is, the stronger it is, and over here it gets weaker, and we go over here, it should be a little more accurate. Okay, now you can see the gravity really ramping up as it gets closer. 